we now have some new information exposing what we've talked about before, that Mr. Kushner is connected to George Soros. Not only is he connected to George Soros, Peter Thiel, Goldman Sachs, he owes them $1 billion in loans. Could any of you get a loan for half of a million, let alone a billion? This is the writing on the wall, folks. This is who controls this man through and through. This is who's giving him all the money. Allowing him to do whatever it is that he wants to do. Of course, that is all based and really agenda-driven. And behind the scenes, this is the man that uh, Trump says, if anyone can make peace in the Middle East, it's you, Mr. Owner of 666 Fifth Avenue there in Manhattan. And that residence was losing money year after year after year, but it was still, for some reason, important to hold on to. And at this point, they're saying he still owes money to the Bank of America, to Blackstone Group, Citigroup, UBS, Deutsche Bank, and RBS, all of which were not disclosed. Yeah, Deutsche Bank, DB Bank, the same bank that was caught rigging the precious metals, gold, silver, platinum, everything in the market. They were caught red-handed. They got a smack on the wrist, and they're still put, they keep on pushing. These people do not go to jail. This is the problem. And yet, you wonder how George Soros gets away with what he does, causing chaos in other countries, and even here in this country, funding it, fueling it. And they will continue to do so. Why is he not in jail? I hope you're starting to see the bigger picture. All of these individuals are connected behind the scenes. You see, before people were like, oh no, this whole administration is going to come in and go against Soros. No, no, you need to wake up and see the bigger picture. This is a game. This is a play on the minds of, of the people. You can never win a race unless you have a horse in that race. And the American people didn't have a horse in the race this last election. And until you do, you will not get what you seek, which is truth, true freedom. They will continue to strip this away from you. And if you don't pay attention, you don't figure out who it is pulling these strings that brought down them towers. Well, you're not going to know who was behind the next big event. It's time you get hip to it. See the players. The ones that have been behind all the false flags. That they're all connected. So you have the the top guy that's married here to Trump's daughter within his, his administration directly connected to Peter Thiel and George Soros. A billion dollars in loans, folks. And you don't think that behind the scenes, Mr. Trump and Soros and all these other Goons aren't powwowing too. If you want to turn a cheek to it, you're living in la-la land. The truth is they're all connected here behind the scenes. The money trail exposes it, and it shows who controls who in this instance. When someone is a billion dollars in debt to individuals, yeah, they're controlled. So, wanted to point out the connection here once again and the fact that he did not disclose this and everything else they're saying about this in terms of this real estate startup that he founded, Cadre, which is connected to all those individuals, as I said. And that's just one venture. Who knows how many other deals are set up behind the scenes. It's been Dabu7 and this is Columinati.